Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So, in this lecture on computation of signs, which is referred to as Jnanayanam, so I will be trying to cover as to how various approximations and various techniques have been evolved over a period of almost 2000 years. So, as we see that this is a very, very important topic, so because, so almost all kinds of calculations are crucially dependent upon accurate computation of signs. First, we will uh, try to give you a brief introduction as to why this sign values are so important. And then, we will see the approach taken by the earlier Siddhantas. By earlier Siddhantas, I mean the Siddhantas that have been compiled by Varahamhira in his text called Pancha Siddhantika. So, Pancha is 5. So, he has compiled so, the five Siddhantas which were prevalent, so around uh, his time, so which is around 505 AD and uh, whatever Varahamihira has noted down with reference to the sign computation, we will be just quickly tracing that. Then we will quickly recall, so whatever we discussed when we discussed uh, the Ganita Pada of Aryabhatiya, so the two approaches which he has uh, taken and then we will spend quite a bit of time on uh, an interesting rational approximation which has been presented by Bhaskara. So, in his commentary on Aryabhatiya Bhashya as well as his work called Mahabhaskariyam. So, he has cited a couple of verses which gives a very interesting approximation, rational approximation for finding sign. So, we will also see how Bhaskara has uh, approached this particular rational approximation. So, it has been, uh, there are two, three ways which has been attempted by various scholars. So, we will discuss one such method, so which has been presented by K. Shukla in his translation of Mahabhaskariyam. Then we will quickly uh, see the table which has been presented in Surya Siddhanta. So, and then I will also touch upon this Govinda Swamin's table of this R signs. So, he has also presented a table which is a sort of improvised version of what Aryabhata has given and it is a very interesting um, table in the sense that it gives very accurate value. So, even around uh, 9th century. So, and then we will uh, discuss the verses which are available in Tantra Sangraha which present the, uh, the technique for computation of uh, tabular R signs and then we will quickly go through the Madhavas um, verses so as well as the infinite series and how he has handled the infinite series to compute signs. So, this is the idea. So, as I was mentioning it is so crucial because uh, the computation of time. So, in fact, uh, the reckoning of time whether it is masa, varsha, dina, tithi, whatever it is. So, it is crucially dependent upon the planetary positions. So, we say one year is over because sun has returned back to the same position, one month is over because the moon has come back once again in conjunction with sun and so on. So, all this crucially depends upon the computation of planetary positions accurately and uh, as you will see even Professor Sriram will be uh, touching upon this. So, as to how the sign function appears in the computation of planetary calculations and therefore, the sign function is extremely important if one has to even determine time. So, which is something which is indispensable. So, I also uh, showed this earlier. So, when we discuss this uh, Shulva Sutras that uh, even the precise computation of time. So, can be had. So, using this kind of a formula which is presented. So, as you can easily see that uh, sin and cosine functions. So, appear. So, in this particular calculation as well as the inverse functions. This in Pancha Siddhantika, we have these values of sign. 
so very clearly stated. So, sin 30, sin 45, sin 60 and all that. So, this we saw that easily by constructing a certain triangle, so one will be able to see all these values can be easily determined. Based on these values of signs and the set of equations given below 2 to 4, one will be able to generate the 24 tabular or signs which we discussed while dealing with Aryabhatiyam. So, usually, so a quadrant is divided into 24 parts. So, P naught, P 1, P 1, P 2 and so on. So, each of them is taken to be 3 degree and 45 minutes, 225 minutes. So, the idea is to obtain the sign values. So, at these intervals. So, this is what people have attempted, this is what Aryabhata has given in his table. So, which is referred to as Makhyadi, Maki, Bhaki, Paki. So, that is how it is. So, this is the approach. So, which is generally taken and you will also see in other lectures that people have attempted to give the sign values for 1 degree also. So, they have reduced the interval to see that the accuracy can be improved upon. See, if you know the value at P 1 and if you know the value at P 2, then if you want to find out the sign at some value in between P 1 and P 2, then generally we use first order approximation. Second order approximation has also been given to see that we can have much better values, but if you can reduce the interval itself and the table is available, then it will be far more convenient and attempt in that direction has also been done by astronomers and mathematicians. So, Aryabhata so has given this samavritta paridhipadam chindya tribhuja chaturbhuja chaiva. So, in this verse which we explained in our Aryabhatiya lecture, so we clearly showed that so if you know the value of sign precisely say at 30 degrees. So, then uh, and one more value see for instance if you know 24th, 12th and 8th. So, then you will be able to compute the entire sign table and this was explained. So, I will not spend much time here. So, once you know this value, so 8th sign is basically 30 degrees and 12th sign is basically 45 degrees. So, both of them can be obtained by simply looking at the geometrical construction. So, one will be basically r by 2. So, so once you know that, so you will be able to compute the entire sign table. The other approach which has been taken by Aryabhata, so this one can call as geometrical approach in the sense that you start with this geometrical figure, you make certain observations and then you will be able to compute the entire sign table. The other approach which has been taken by Aryabhata is the analytic approach. See here B k represents the kth bhuja. See. So, the terminology for r sin is bhuja and cosine is koti. So, here so the, our idea is to obtain so all the values for b 1 to b 24. So, this verse which you find in Aryabhatiya essentially translates to this kind of an equation equation 8. So, wherein delta represents the first order sign difference, delta k plus 1 minus delta k represents the second order sign difference and what you note here is, so it is proportional to the sign value at that point. Okay, the second order sign difference is proportional to the sign value, so which essentially is the discrete version of the harmonic equation. Hmm. So, here when you say it is proportional and uh, what you find as the proportionality constant is 1 by B 1. Okay. So, B 1 represents the g of the first sign. So, generally it is taken to be 225, so, I mean so the value has been improved upon as we will see during the course of the lecture. So, how this constant has been improved upon over the period of uh, almost 1000 years, so people have sort of done and we will see that the value which has been presented by Kerala astronomers is astonishingly accurate. Okay. So, that has to do with the kind of uh, uh, invention which has been done, so in uh, finding out infinite series for sign, so that we will see as we progress during this lecture. This is about uh, the Aryabhatan approach to finding sign values. So, 
So, one is geometric, the other is analytic. So, both ways you basically construct the sign table. The sign table which has been presented by Aryabhata is in the form of a single verse which essentially gives the R sign differences, the first order sign differences and as you can easily see the first order sign differences will keep decreasing. It starts with makhi, bhaki, phakhi and then it ends with ta, pha, cha. So, this is how he has presented the entire sign table in one single Arya. So, now I come to the interesting approximation which we find in Bhaskara's work. So, before I proceed to explain the verse given by Bhaskara, I just wanted to say a couple of things. So, Bhaskara starts his approximation to sign uh, by saying Makhyadi Rahitam Karma Vakshyate Tat Samasataha. So, here the word Makhi refers to the verse of Aryabhata, so which starts with Makhi. So, Makhyadi Rahitam Karma, so means, so a certain process by which you can avoid the Makhyadi, means the table, the table of R signs can be avoided. So, the idea is if you want to get a certain value of sign, so you look at the table, so and then choose that particular value and then find out the difference and then do that. So, you either use first order, second order and then you get the actual value of sign. So, he is saying Makhyadi Rahitam Karma means you can completely avoid the table. So, which means he is presenting a certain other procedure by which you will be not requiring the sign table at all. So, what he presents is a certain approximate formula. So, this is not necessarily the invention of Bhaskara. So, this is what uh, one comes to understand from two factors. One is, so this verse if you look at it is present in two of his works. One is this Aryabhatiya Bhashya. So, wherein he actually explains a certain verse in Geetika Pada and he says, so Tatra Jarahitam, so if you want to uh, do a computation of this, so without employing the table, so he just goes on Tadartha Maha, that is what he says. There is a certain hint wherein he says, uh, Aryabhata himself might have known. So, this is what one can guess from that. The other thing is see, so Arya, uh, this Bhaskara in his own work Mahabhaskariya, so when he presents this verse, so this is uh, presented in such a way as if it is quite well known. So, it is not presented as if it is something new which he is presenting. So, it looks as if this approximation might have been available even during the period of Aryabhata. So, one is not very sure whether this is the invention of Bhaskara at all. But anyway, so uh, this is a very interesting approximation. He says, Makhyadi Rahitam Karma Vakshate Tat Samasataha Chakrardham Shaka Samuhati Vishodhyaye Bhujam Shakaha Tachesha Gunita Dvishtaha Shodhyaha Khabhreshu Khabditaha Chaturtham Shena Seshasya Dvishtam Antyaphalam Hatam. So, this is where it over, it is over. So, what is he saying? Chakraardham Shaka Samuhat. Chakra basically refers to 360 degrees. Chakra is a circle and it is used to refer to 360 degrees. Chakra Ardha is half of it. So, Amsha is degrees. So, Chakraardham Shaka Samuhat Vishodhyaha means to be subtracted. So, Bhujam Shakaha. So, the degrees corresponding to the sin value which you want to compute. In fact, this is applicable for not only sin cosine, cosine also as well as uh, utkrama jya. In fact, that is what Bhaskara towards the end he says, krama utkrama gunasyava. So, all that he says. It is a very interesting uh, approximation. So, you can easily follow uh, that this particular line so basically refers to 180 minus x. Then he says, tachesha gunitaha. So, tachesha means remainder. So, remainder that is obtained by subtracting x from 180, gunita multiplied. So, dvishtaha means it has to be placed in two places. So, whenever you have the same quantity appearing in your computation, they will always say, so keep it in two places. So, do not get lost. So, like we store in memory in computer. So, that is what so they say, keep in two places. Dvishtaha. 
shodhyaha means they have to be subtracted subtracted from what so khabhreshu khabdhitaha so this uh, kha refers to 0 abhra is also 0 ishu refers to 5 abdhi uh, kha again 0 and abdhi is 4 so this has to be subtracted from this number and uh, this has to be divided chaturthamshena seshasya dvishtam so chaturthamsha is 1 fourth see that is why we divided this by 4 okay 1 fourth of this quantity so this the tritiya here basically whenever you find in most of this is a so they sometimes explicitly state that it has to be divided so when you say divided you always use by so by is tritiya so tritiya itself in many places will indicate the process of division so here tat chaturtham shena vibhajet that is how it has to be understood then so dvishtam vibhajet dvishtam means wherever you have placed this so that has to be divided so dvishtam vibhajet so then he says antya phalam hatam so it is actually referring to a certain different process antya phalam actually refers to uh, the radius of the epicycle so which perhaps will be made clear in the other lectures so antya phalam hatam so he actually describes a certain process of computing the planetary position and incidentally he gives this kind of a approximation which can be employed to compute the sin function okay so labhyate chandra tikshnam shuvoho taranam vapi tattvataha see so whether it is sun whether it is moon tikshnam shu means sun so it is really true see tikshnam shu the one who has scorching rays okay so chandra tikshnam shoho taranam vapi tattvataha okay so this is uh, something which is applicable over the range 0 to 180 okay so usually the table is presented only up to 0 but uh, this formula as you can easily see also captures the symmetry of the sin function so this is uh, I, ha I have almost explained so all that so shodhyaha so ekatra shodhyaha chaturtham shene vibhajet okay so how good is the rational approximation which has been presented by bhaskara this uh, formula which has been given by bhaskara so if you put x is 0 so you will get 0 so when you put x is 180 also it is going to become so if you see that closely so for x is equal to 90 you will get 1 so even in the intermediate values you can see that it is exact for certain values but in the intermediate values also it is almost 99 percent accurate so it is a very very good approximation and uh, so whether uh, Bhaskara found it or uh, it has been available in the tradition whatever it is whoever will be the discoverer so it is indeed an excellent approximation for sign so and there has been some attempt which was made so i remember to see that uh, if this formula can be taken so to compute the sign value in a much more efficient way so even in uh, the modern uh, devices anyway so and it also actually uh, speaks of a certain attempt a novel attempt to find a to capture this function so the sign function is something which is ubiquitous and uh, so one needs to capture its value in some form or other form so which will be as easy as possible so whenever we can uh, we want to compute these values so this also uh, the formula is also very beautiful formula so in the sense that uh, it actually captures the symmetry so which is there in the sine function and uh, it also so since it is uh, applicable for the range 0 to 180 so it also captures the concavity of this function sine function and at this stage i would like to uh, quote this hardy he uh, says the greeks were first mathematicians so who are still real to us today oriental mathematics may be an interesting curiosity but greek mathematics is the real thing 
So, this is the kind of uh, statement which Hardy makes, so in the early part of 20th century. So, in spite of knowing these kinds of brilliant discoveries. So, by brilliant discoveries, we mean the infinite series for pi, its various fast convergent approximations as well as the series for trigonometric functions such as sin, cosine and tan inverse functions. So, in fact, it is not that uh, by the beginning of 20th century, Hardy was not aware of some of these significant contributions made by Indians, but maybe it has to do with uh, what people call as the Eurocentric view. So, now I give you uh, the approach to arrive at this interesting rational approximation which has been given by Bhaskara. So, this you can easily follow. So, there are two three approaches so which has been presented by scholars. So, here I am presenting a uh, approach which is based on the geometry and the kind of analysis which has been done around that period by most of which is familiar to you by now. So, here just consider this triangle, so A, B, C. So, the area of this triangle can be represented in two ways. So, one is half times A, B into B, C, fine. So, A, B into B, C so base times, the other is A C into B D, fine. So, from this, so 1 by B D is A C by A B into B C. So, you know that the length of the chord is always less than that of the arc, fine. So, the sine function is basically finding the relation between the chord length and the arc length. So, this is all the sine function is all about. So, now you can write this equation 9 as an inequality in this form. So, what has been done is, so in the denominator, so A B and B C have been replaced with arc lengths. So, since the arc length is much larger, which big, much bigger than the chord length, so this becomes the an inequality. So, we write it this way. This by introducing x and y, I write it as an equation 1 by b d is equal to x times a c plus y. Okay. A b, we just take it as theta and therefore, the other part b c becomes 180 minus theta. So, that forms the denominator. So, we have this equation. So, so, this can be, re, so you can easily see that, so B D is nothing but R sin theta, fine. So, B D is R sin theta and therefore, we have equation 10. If you substitute theta is equal to 30 and theta is equal to 90, so in the above equation, so this is the equation. So, by simple substitution, you will be getting these two equations 2 x r plus 4500 is this and this. So, by solving this for x and y, you will get y is 1 by minus 4 r and uh, once you plug in this value into any of these equations, you will get x is equal to this. Now, you have the Bhaskara expression, so very simple. So, this is something which might have been used by uh, whoever who discovered this interesting approximation for sin. So, this is basically the Bhaskara formula. So, this, uh, this, this derivation is presented by Shukla in his Mahabhaskariya. He is also giving some other algebraic uh, derivation. So, now I move on to the sign table which has been presented in Surya Siddhanta. So, one is not uh, very sure as to when the Surya Siddhanta was 
really composed. So, because we have the Saura Siddhanta, so in Varah Mihiras Pancha Siddhantika and Surya Siddhanta seems to be an improvised version of that. So, anyway, so Surya Siddhanta presents this uh, sign table in these verses and uh, what has been used is Bhuta Sankhya system. So, if you recall uh, this Bhuta Sankhya system, some of these words see Tattvashvinaha. So, Tattva is the number of Tattvas, Sankhya Tattvas, so Pancha Vimshati, so 25. Ashvi refers to 2, it is 225. Anka Abdhi Kritaha, so Anka is 9. So, the number leaving out 0, Anka is 9, Abdhi is 4, Krita refers to the number of Yugas, okay. Krita, Treta, Dwapara, Kali and therefore this represents 449 and uh, see Rupa Bhumi, Rupa Bhumi Dharartavaha, Rupa is form, the form is unique for every entity and therefore Rupa refers to 1, Bhumi Dhara is uh, mountain. So, that refers to number 7, so Yed Kundalavada, so that is 7 and uh, Ritavaha, Ritu is seasons number 6, so it is 671. This table which has been presented in Surya Siddhanta is identical with the table which has been given by Bhaskara, uh, sorry Aryabhata which is Makhyadi. So, the only difference is Aryabhata has given the differences, the first order sign differences, so here it is presenting the value of signs themselves. For instance, the last value, so if you look at see Vasvagni Krita Vanhayaha, so Vasu refers to 8, Agni refers to 3, Krita refers to 4 and Vanhi again refers to 3. Okay. So, this table is identical with the table that has been presented by Aryabhata, but it only presents in the form of Pindajyas. Okay. So, whereas Aryabhata gave the value of Khandajyas the differences in signs. Okay. So, how do we obtain uh, the intermediate sign values? So, this is the general prescription, so which is based on this Trirashika or the first order interpolation. So, it is clearly states Liptabhya, Tattvanetrabhya, Gatajyaha. So, Gataha Jyaha, see for instance suppose, so A O C, so represents an integral multiple of 225. So, they give the values for every 225. So, if you know the angle A O C and if you want to find out see A O B the sign corresponding to A O B. So, then all that you do is, so you take the value corresponding to A O C which we write as J i, the, this can be simply pulled out from the table and uh, for this so, this C O B, so which I have marked as delta theta which is an increment, so you use this Trirashika rule. So, if for 225 minutes, so which is G C, so this is going to be the difference, then for delta theta what is going to be the difference, so by rule of 3 you add this. So, this is what has been stated in this uh, verses, see Gata Gamyantaragna Cha, see Gata is already elapsed, Gamya is that which is going to be the next value. So, antara is difference multiplied and divided by 225. So, this gives you the value for any intermediate sign argument. Now, uh, I move on to uh, the sign table, so which has been presented in Govinda Swamins Vyakhyana of Mahabhaskariya. This is a very elaborate commentary which has been written by Govinda Swamin and uh, here he presents a set of verses which primarily give the correction to the Aryabhatan values. So, in fact, uh, it starts like this, Makhyadayohi Nyunadhika Avayavaha, see Nyunadhika means something which is less, something which can be greater. So, the values which have been presented in the Makhyadi table, so this, uh, this Makhyadi which has been given by Aryabhata, Nunadhika, so sometimes it can be, so it is basically the approximation, so rounding off has been done, so it could be slightly less, it could be slightly greater. So, by 
specifying the measure by which it is less or uh, more, so we will be able to get the exact value. So, that is what he is trying to hit, hint here and uh, he gives tatparadhyaha. The word tatpara is used to refer to thirds. So, we know degree, we know minutes, we know seconds. So, if you go one more step, 160th of a second is referred to as tatpara. So, here he says, so tatparadhyaha, so the uh, verses in which I am going to list the numbers are basically in tatpara and then it will be in vikala. So, here he says sapta agni randhrani, see sapta is 7, agni is 3, randhra, so randhra means whole, so randhra means whole. So, why does it represent uh, 9? Ah, so, in the body, so it is considered navadware pure dehi. Okay. So, in body there are 9 holes, 7 in the face and 2 below. Okay. So, that is how it is. So, he gives basically the correction which has to be uh, done to the Aryabhatan values. So, to get the accurate values. So, this is the table. So, so Aryabhata has taken for 225 as 225 and Govinda Swami actually says, so 224, 50, 23. So, how do you get this? See, you can see that. See, he says 937. So, sorry. See, so in this you have to remove 937, 37 tatparas and 9 vikalas. So, you will get this value 224. 50, so, what is interesting to note is these values which have been given by Govinda Swami are very close to the values which are given by Madhava having obtained the infinite series and then uh, giving the uh, accurate values. So, once you have the infinite series in place, so obviously you can get very, very accurate values depending upon the number of terms which you consider. So, it is a very fast converging series. So, but Govinda Swami, so even without that has so, this also uh, is sort of uh, indicative as to how they have been trying to improvise the sign value so meticulously. So, this Govinda Swami is in 9th century and uh, Madhava is 14th century and Aryabhata 5th century. So, there has been a certain effort continuously going on to improve upon the values. So, coming to this uh, Tantra Sangraha, so which is composed in 1500. So, Nilakantha presents the following verses. So, he says, Vilipta dasakonajya rasyashtamsha dhanuh kalaha adyajyardha tatho bhakte sardha deva shibhistataha. The first line is of importance, then more or less the procedure is same as that of Aryabhata. So, I will skip the rest. Okay. So, Vilipta dasakona, una means uh, reduced by less. So, jya here refers to the first jya. So, jya of Rashi Ashtamsha Dhanu. Rashi is 30 degree, Ashtamsha is 1 8th of that. So, 1 8th of that corresponds to, so which is 225 minutes. So, he says, so 225 minus 10 seconds, so gives you the first jya. Hmm? So, Vilipta Dashakona Jya Rashi Ashtamsha Dhanu Kalaha. One can easily see that. So, this is based upon this approximation. So, R sin alpha is simply taken as R, R alpha by sin alpha is alpha, so by Aryabhata and therefore, 225 is taken as 225. So, if you use this next level of approximation, so alpha minus alpha cube by 3 factorial, one can easily see that, so you get this, so 224.83 and this is what it is. So, this is what has been given. It is quite clear that he starts with this approximation instead of taking sin alpha as alpha. So, then what is said in the later lines of this set of verses is basically this relation. So, which is same as the relation which has been given by recursion relation given by Aryabhata, but for this constant factor which appears here. So, this relation can be employed 
to get the entire sign table once you know the first value, once j 1 is in place the rest of the things can be easily obtained from this recursion relation. Hmm? So, in fact, uh, so tatastenaiva har in fact in this verses sardha deva shvibhi see sardha is one half deva refers to number 33 ashvi refers to 2 so 2 33 and half see so this is the divisor so this is what has been given to quickly summarize we use the uh, recursion relation to obtain the sign table and one can easily see that exact recursion relation will have this factor the proportionality constant will be 2 times 1 minus cos alpha okay. and this 2 times 1 minus cos alpha has been written as 1 by 225 by Aryabhata and Nilakantha actually gives this factor to be 1 by 223 and a half see that is what we saw Sardha Deva Shvibhivi and in fact Shankara Varyar so, further improves upon and then he says 223 and, uh, and say this 32 vikalas. Okay. So, that is what he says. So, you can easily see that the modern value is so 42822 and uh, so this is a much better approximation than 233 and a half. So, this is how they have attempted to improve upon. And uh, Madhava actually gives a set of verses, so which not only gives up to seconds, but also up to thirds. In fact, uh, the last line, if you note here, Tatparadi Kalantastu. So, Tatpara is starting from thirds, then you move on to Vikala, then you move on to Kala. So, Tatparadi Kalantastu Mahajya Madhavoditaha. See, Aryabhata has taken uh, so this to be 3438, so 3437, so 44 and 48, so that is what it comes to. See, so here this is given in Katapayadi notation. So, we saw that, so in Katapayadi, so Shrestham Nama Varishthanam. So, Shre Shtam, so both of them refer to 2 and 2, Na Ma, so Na refers to 0, Ma is 5, Va, Ri, Shta, again Na 0, so this is what you get. So, similarly here, Devo Vishwasthali Bhriguhu, the last word, so De, Va, Vi, Shva, Si, Stha, Li, Bhru, Gu, so this is how you construct the, the sign table which has been given by Madhava. And uh, one could see that, so Madhava uh, would have obtained, so this kind of a table by using the sign series. So, to have a comparison, so here is where we present and what is noted is uh, the modern value and the value which has been given by Madhava are almost identical see, up to thirds. So, you see that say 3, 4, 3, 7, 44, 48, 3, 4, 3, 7, 44, 48. See. So, up to thirds, so they almost uh, coincide and uh, the kind of accuracy to which it has been computed has to do with the accurate value uh, which they have been able to find out using the series, so that I will explain now shortly. So, Madhava, uh, so this has to do with uh, the initial value of R in fact, it is crucially see even uh, without this uh, sign series, so Govinda Swami has been able to obtain the table which is fairly close to the Madhava table which is what I showed you. So, it depends on uh, the value of R that you take, so if you take R to be 3438. So, and then do your computation, then the accuracy that you will be able to achieve will be far less than the value of R that R is basically trijya. So, in all your computations, so you will have this trijya which is the radius and uh, 
if you are able to compute the radius accurately, then I think you will be able to improve upon significantly. Okay. So, on the, the verses which present the sign series go like this Nihatya chapa vargena chapam tatat phalanicha haret samula yugvargaihi trijya varga hatehi kramatu chapam phalani chadhodho nyasyo par yuparitijet jivapti sangraho siva vidva nityadina krataha. In fact, there are two things which I have to explain. So, this was even cited earlier. Uh, one is and the terms which actually uh, represent the various uh, terms in the series in the verse and uh, finally, this vidvan ityadina kritaha. So, nihatya chapa vargena, chapa refers to the arc, so which we have been repeatedly saying dhanuhu chapaha always refers to the arc, jya refers to the card, so chapa varga refers to the square of this, so nihatya is having multiplied. So, nihatya chapa vargena chapam, so you have to multiply this by this, tattat phalani cha means see once you multiply r theta square by r theta, so you get r theta cube. So, this also has to be multiplied by r theta square, that is why he is saying tattat phala, tattat phala means the results that you obtain. So, punaf punaha you have to do this multiplication, so tattat phalani cha, so basically what you will get is, so r theta so, r theta cube, r theta to the power 5 and so on. Then having obtained them, he says haret samula yugvar gaihi, haret means may you divide. So, what should be the divisor? Yugvarga, yug actually refers to even number, okay. so yuk ayuk, yugvarga refers to the square of the even number. So, yugvar gaihi haret, samula yugvar gaihi. Samula means the base has to be added. So, squaring is an operation, so it can be done on any number. So, Samula means the base, so 2 plus 2 square, 4 plus 4 square, so this is what it is referred to. So, basically this quantity 2i plus 2i square. So, Trijya Varga Hatai Kramata and so on. So, basically it amounts to uh, this kind of a series. So, and uh, he says finally Jiva Pyai. So, Jiva is same as Ja you want to find out ja, so then you do this computation. So, this amounts to the infinite series for sin function okay. and finally he says sangraho seva vidva nityadina krataha. So, having given a certain infinite series for this ja, so he says sangraha. So, a shorter form, a convenient form okay. So, sangraha is a, a shorter version okay so sangraho seva vidvan ityadina krataha so vidvan ityadi see we saw makhyadi so makhyadi means the verse which has makhi as adi so similarly vidvan ityadi means the verse which has vidvan as the first term vidvan ityadina krataha so we will see that vidvan verse now okay so the series which has been used by madhava so, though it is a very very important discovery from the mathematical viewpoint, so think of so using some infinite series to obtain something, it is almost impossible. So, similarly, so this you will see even with reference to pi. So, if you have you may have some series, see pi will be approximately equal to various other rational approximation, but the equality will be holding good only when you have infinite series. So, though the terms will be decreasing, but then the equality is valid only if you consider all the terms. So, but you cannot do that, it is almost impossible for anyone to compute or any device to compute. What one has to do is, one has to have a good approximation for that, so which will be discussed later. And here, uh, so this series is actually a very fast converging series, so you need not consider so many terms. So, Madhava has considered up to 6 terms in the series and uh, so having done that, so he has composed another verse. So, which can be conveniently used. So, you have some arc value and plugging in every time and then using this series is going to be very very cumbersome. So, we have r square appearing, so r is uh, that uh, 3, 4, 3, 7, 38, so whatever the number of minutes and all that. So, you cannot be doing every time and he has given a certain convenient way of doing and uh, so basically the coefficients which are present here, so have been handled and computed and some numbers have been given. So, those numbers can be easily 
plugged in along with the argument value and you will be able to find the sign values. So, Vidvam Stunnabalaha Kavisha Nichayaha Sarvartha Shila Sthiraha Nirvidhanga Narendrarum Nigadite Shveshu Kramat Panchasu. So, Panchasu Kramat, so five terms have been uh, specified here. So, each of them actually represent a certain number. Vidwan means normally a scholar, but Vidwan in this context refers to number 44. <laughs> Say vi dva, so in Katapayadi notation, vidwan. Similarly, tunna balaha, so refers to this number. Kavisha ni chayaha, kavisha ni zero, cha is six, ya is one. See in Katapayadi. So basically, he has listed so five numbers: vidwan, tunna balaha, kavisha ni chayaha, sarvartha shila sthiraha, nirvidhanga narendra ruk. So these basically uh, correspond to so, Panchasu, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, leaving out the first, so he has given the values of the coefficients, so in this particular forum. So, as you can easily see, the last sixth will be much smaller, so because you have 11 factorial appearing here. Okay. So, this is the order he has given in the reverse order. So, Tunnabalaha Kavishani Jaya. So, you one can now rewrite that equation see so wherein so all these are taken out so 3 factorial r square etc so all this have been pulled out and basically a set of numbers have been given and with this one will be able to compute the sign value since uh, it is a very fast converging series the six terms are more than sufficient to get very accurate values so that's how he has composed this verse in fact uh, the later half of the verse gives how it has to be done. As we saw, it is quite uh, interesting to note how so various techniques have been evolved over a period of time in order to improve the accuracy of the computation of signs. So, if one were to look at, there are basically three approaches. One is uh, to improve the accuracy of the table which has been presented for finding the sign values, which will be used. Uh, for doing either second order approximation or if even if you want to use, uh, so perhaps Professor Shiram will be explaining in his lecture on Jyotpati, so sign of A plus B etcetera, even there you need a very accurate sign table which forms the basis. So, that has been done. Then another uh, way is to use the rational approximation where you do not have to uh, have the table at all, you can just plug in the value and you will be able to get the uh, sign value. So, this is another way and the third of course is infinite series and this has also been tamed to have a nice forum so by vidwan ityadi and uh, as you will see in the uh, lectures on proof the logical rigor so with which they have approached this problem to arrive at is also quite remarkable and why were they interested in very accurate values if you look at uh, whether it is geometrical approach or it is other things so the value of trijya so, plays a very crucial role. So, trijya basically refers to the radius. So, given the, so you, you need to determine the radius. So, the radius once it is precisely known, then you find out root of r, r square minus something, whatever you want to do. So, that will also be quite accurate. So, and that was required to compute the signs and which was required to get the accurate planetary positions, which was required to determine the tithis etcetera precisely. So, when is uh, this uh, tithi ending? So, when is this eclipse occurring? So, all that and this in turn was required in order to know the precise occurrence of a certain event. Okay. So, that is what we call as see for instance we say that uh, this lagna, that lagna so, from when does this lagna begin. So, all that is computation of time. In fact, uh, people were really concerned about the precise determination of ending moment of tithi. So, whether we should uh, celebrate Deepavali today or we should uh, celebrate Deepavali tomorrow, whether we have to observe Ekadashi today or tomorrow. So, that depends on precise computation of sunrise time and the precise uh, ending moment of tithi. So, in fact, uh, one of the astronomers of uh, recent times, so Samanta Chandra Shekhara at the beginning of his verse uh, work he quotes this verse see naste kala vayavakalana yatra driksastra siddha shrautasmartha vyavahritirapi 
chidyate tatra dharmaha. Their concern is shrauta smartha vyavahriti. So, all that, whether it is shrauta karma or smartha karma or our uh, transactional thing, so all of them will get shattered. Chidyate tatra dharmaha. Therefore, he says tasma desha kritihi. So, therefore, I engage myself to compose this work, which will give you much better position of these planets. So, which in turn can be used to determine the precise moments of occurrence of various events. So, thus we see that uh, the sign plays a very crucial role in various things. So, with this we conclude our talk on sign function. Thank you.